now we're going to go to the command of establishing the SSH. That's what we're about to do. All right. So, so we're going to secure router one so that it accepts secure shell incoming connections. We need to set up a domain name and generate keys. That's what we're about to do. So these are the commands for that. So config F. Do you have a question? I've heard of keys before, but what exactly are they? Just cryptographic keys. Um, oh. So basically, when you want to send something secure, when people talk about encryption, they're talking about mathematical algorithms that mm -hmm. encrypt information where it's not necessarily what is called like a one-way function. So what, what I mean by that? Let's just say that this is a message written on here saying discover, right? Oh, because this is who this came from. And then my hand is the algorithm. So I've got my little message discover written on here. And then when the message goes through the algorithm, algorithm it comes out on the other end just as a bunch of mumbo jumbo a bunch of random letters and numbers right now in order to send it back to decrypt it you need a decryption key is basically a mathematical formula that allows for you to go backwards but the way that these algorithms are written and programmed it would essentially take the average computer if you were to set it to the most complicated algorithm which is aes aes encrypt well in this one we're using what's called rsa encryption that's what that stands for it would take the average computer probably a hundred thousand years to decrypt it because of how the mathematical formula works you need to know a certain input value and it's, it's not as simple as all right let me make this simple so we all know algebra right so three plus x equals five we all know how to solve for x right we take the three you know how we learned it in school and we move it to the other side of the formula to now where x equals five minus three which will right. get us the answer of two mm -hmm. well that's how we learn how to do stuff but with this algorithm when we send this thing through we don't necessarily necessarily know what the algorithm might be three plus X equals a question mark. We don't know what the, the question mark is and we don't know what the X value is, but we do know what the three, the three might be my message going through. But it's extremely, I don't wanna say it's extremely hard to explain, but just understand encryption keys, they encrypt plain text to what is called cipher text. It produces a bunch of mumbo jumbo. But mm -hmm. in order to decrypt it, you need a decryption key to essentially unlock it so you can read it. If you don't gotcha. ever have that, un and like I say, this, this these keys are mathematical problems that are purposely designed to take people possibly tens of thousands of years to decrypt because if it was just that easy to decrypt there would be no point in having encryption right so, but anyway we're just generating keys so that like we said when we did the last two labs telnet what was the first one and, and ftp ftp when we sent the communications between the, the computers and the router and the router and the server whatever we were doing that communication was unencrypted so if i was right. a hacker or somebody i can steal the information i can read it in plain text right we're adding a layer of encryption so now when we send uh, whatever we're about to do in this lab, we send something from one device to the other, it's going to be encrypted. So if I'm the hacker and I quote unquote steal it out the air, act as a man in the middle, when I look at it, instead of me seeing whatever the heck was written in that message, I'm just going to see a bunch of random gargled up mumbo jumbo letters, numbers, and symbols that don't make any sense. Makes sense. So, yeah. so that's, what we're, that's what we're about to set up now with this. So we type config T to get into the configuration terminal. And now we're going to type this command IP domain uh, tech G domain dash name. And I'm putting techg.com. Yeah. And then crypto key generate RSA. Yeah. And then it's going to say choose a key modulus. So the modulus, this is the actual quote unquote algorithm for how, how not algorithm, but it's the, uh, how do I explain this? So RSA is the algorithm we're using. The 1024, that is how strong we're about to encrypt this thing. I guess that's the best way to describe it. So it's going to generate a 1024-bit RSA key. Basically, what that means is it's going to be extremely hard to break this with the right. average computer. And now we got to go through and we got to type some more commands up, man. So now what we're going to do, these commands right here, we're going to set a timeout. So basically, if a person once they establish the uh the ssh connection with the router if they don't type in the authentication information within like 60 seconds it'll time it out and then they'll have to go through the process of trying to re-log in and then we're only going to give them like two tries to get this right because we want to prevent people from trying to hack into the system ip ssh i'm out 60. hey i have a question so after i put in the uh the ip ssh timeout 60 i press enter and it has march 10182199 ssh dash five enabled yeah okay so that's correct yeah that's correct yeah you can just hit enter again if you want and then go okay. to the next command okay 
Thank you. Uh, basically, what that means is essentially saying that you set up SSH at this date on this time. March 1st, the timing is, is not correct in this simulation to what today's date is. Well, I have a quick question as well. Yes. The 0 through 15, where it says line VTY, 0 through 15, yep. oh, what is that saying? You're opening up virtual terminals. The VTY stands for virtual terminal. 